Yo yo, hello everybody. This is I keep saying this is Yigster and it's not because in game you'll all know me as Chila, so this is Chila, I suppose. And this is my first rant video, alright? Before I start my rant, I just wanted to, the video that you're watching, uh me and Ridders, uh I'm not very good at um soloing high level stuff even though I did a video about soloing. But I found out that I could solo these. These are these mobs are level 100 and so basically what I did is we went up there because Ridgar didn't believe that I could solo them and th basically the footage that you're watching is me taking one out him dying and then him taking one out anyway so that's the video out of the way um, don't forget to look out for the keyword you all know what that means 50,000 plat yes at the end of the video you'll see me handing over the 50,000 plat to the first winner Rants. Okay, now as you know, none of this is rehearsed, so I'm just going to go with it, and I might forget things. I might get some things wrong if I do. Just let me know. Uh, my main rant is definitely going to be about FIFA, uh, the game. Um, in fact, I'll start the rants with that because I got quite a lot to rant about on that. Now I've I got four lads, and you know they've been playing the. They love football. I can't stand it myself, but they love it. So every year they go out and they buy the next FIFA game for their PlayStation and their Xbox and this, that and the other. Now that that was all well and good up until a couple of years ago. I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, it was, I think it was FIFA 13, um, where they brought in something called Ultimate Team, which is a basically it's cards, it's 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 virtual cards. Um, so what you can do with these cards is you buy these cards you have to go out and buy station cash with real money so I mean let's just look at the situation and um, the kids have gone out and they've spent 45 pounds on FIFA 14 so that's 45 pounds quite a, quite an outlay right so then they bring the game home but straight away they want to get their ultimate team, that their team of, of players that are, you know, fantastic. So in order to do that, they've got to go out and spend real money on 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 Microsoft points to then go and buy these packs of cards that are just not even there, okay? And if they get a good player or a good tactic, they can then add that to their team and then they can take that team forward and play other live players, okay? what's my problem with this well my problem is really that you know if you have to pay extra to enhance your game or to give you the illusion that your game's going to be enhanced it's wrong that that should be stated well when you go out and buy fifa what it should say on the fifa fifa 15 on the box it should say Whatever this game's costing you, if you buy it on day release, it can cost you probably FIFA 15 will be on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so they're going to probably be about 60 quid each. Um, you'll also probably have to spend another couple of hundred, easy. I mean, I'm just going on my kids, okay? Uh, when they get birthday money, um, you know, when they get any money, straight away they're going out, they're buying these Microsoft points to buy these cards. Um, so a game that, that originally is supposed to cost you, um, you know, 60 quid, uh, will end up costing you in excess of two, 300, depending, depending on how dedicated or how much spare money your kids have got, or you have got, as it's usually us that the kids come to and say, oh, I want some Microsoft points and this, that and the other. It's wrong. It, you know, it should say on the box, this game's going to cost you a fucking fortune. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, I've got no problem with subscription-based games, you know, like EverQuest, WoW, things. I've got no problem with them. You know what you're getting when you, when you sign up. Uh, I do have a problem, though, with games that, you know, and there's a lot of them now. We've all been seeing this downloadable content. It's been, it's been sneaking in over the last, I don't know, five years, and now it, it's, it's in bed. It's there. It's like one of my kids says, well, I like the downloadable content, Dan. Most of the downloadable content I haven't got a problem with. You know, if you can pay money to make your character look different, you know, or have a little puppy or whatever, that's fine, yeah? But if it's something that is needed in the mechanics of the actual game, then it's an unfair advantage in some games, but certainly in this FIFA, it's, it's just silly, because when they buy the game, they can't do sh they can't, 
you know, if they want to do this ultimate team, they have to go out and keep buying these fucking cards over and over and over. And it's and the other thing that annoys me about FIFA, in in particular FIFA, um, by uh, EA Games, is you can only play if you play it online against other people. You can only play on their servers, which is fair enough, you know. I've got no problem with that. But what I have got a problem with is when you then get hacked. Like my son, uh, twice he got hacked. Um, I think both of them was in FIFA 13. Um, and he he went to a EA for help. They wouldn't touch it. They would not touch it with a barge pole. They simply said, "Someone's got your email address. There's nothing we can do." Now that's that that's bollocks. That to be perfectly honest, you know, you know they should they should have fucking listened to what he said. They must have records of you know all transactions and this that and the other. And the fact of the matter is, my kid's not stupid. You know, he didn't give anyone his email address. He didn't need to give anyone his email address. You know, there's there's hackers out there. I mean, hackers in general, I've got no problem. i got no problem with Anonymous. i got no problem with any hackers that, you know, sort of stick their fingers up to the dickheads who think they control everything we do. i got no problem with them. I have got a problem with hackers who, you know, take people... And I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that have either been hacked on your Xbox yourself or you know someone who has been and it's fucking dev it's destroying it it's devastating um so we you know you know we need to sort of look at this you know they need to price these games properly you know you need to be able to when you buy a game it should say clearly on it look you know the chances are this game's going to cost you a, a, an absolute fortune because your kids going to want to go out and buy the these cards to try and get a good team you know to try and and it's just ludicrous you know you need to be aware of these things and it's not just fifa i mean there's lots of games now coming out with you know uh, downloadable content and when you actually break it down you know, like Facebook, for instance. Jesus fucking Christ, I hate Facebook. I loathe the fucking thing. I really do. Um, my wife, or my ex, she's bloody... Uh, I got her a tablet for Christmas, and so she's playing... There's a game, what is it? Uh, Ice Age. It's one of these fucking games. And Facebook got it really fucking clever, because they get you hooked on these games. All you, she's got to do is press coins. That's all she does. She sits there and presses coins. And then, you know, but then what happens is, is they bring in these acorns. You have to collect acorns. You can buy the acorns if you want with real cash. Oh, yeah, we'll sell you. We'll sell you fucking bucket loads of acorns. You want to buy an acorn? You fucking buy buckets of acorns off us. Right? This is supposed to be a free game, this. Oh, no. It's not fucking free at all. It's not free at all. They don't force you. They don't bring, you know, no one comes round to your house and puts a gun to your head and says, you must purchase this. No, but what they do do, do is very skillful, especially on that game, is you can go and view other people's, what other people have done in their um, Ice Age worlds, okay? Most of which have been done by, you know, the game's fucking makers, so it's going to have everything. So you'll go and look at someone else's because it's encouraging you to do that. And then you'll see, oh, hang about, they've got a gold saber tooth tiger. I want a gold saber tooth tiger. So you click on the shot. Oh, you can have a gold saber tooth tiger. Of course you can have one. Yeah, 500 fucking acorns. 500 fucking acorns. Yes, you can earn the acorns through playing the game. But it's going to take you a fucking lifetime. So then you think, ooh. And then you look at the price. The fucking price of these. It's ridiculous. People have got to fucking wake up, you know, back in the day, you know, you'd go out, you'd buy a game, and that was it, you know, you got an update, fine, you know, you get an expansion, again, fine, it's adding more content to the game, I've got no problem with them, but these games that are, you know, they encourage you, and they're very, very clever, very, very clever how they manoeuvre you to the shops, you know, oh, buy acorns, buy acorns, I haven't even got a squirrel, what the fuck do I want acorns for? Because the game tells you you need them. to For you to be as good as them, you need these fucking acorns. Anyway. that's Oh, I missed... See, I chatted so much. You did see at the end of that, um, that the guy, I gave him the money. And yes, so he was our first winner. And I'm sorry, I ranted a bit then. See, this is why I don't rant. Not sure if this will... Oh, it is. It looks like it's carrying on. Sorry about that. Anyway, yeah. That was my rant, but you'd, if you looked earlier on, you actually see me giving the 50,000 plat uh, to the very, very first winner. I'm going to try and pronounce his name. Uh, Klul, Klulas. 
Yes, he was our first winner, so congratulations to him. Keyword, I meant to put the keyword in earlier on, but I just started ranting. So, today's keyword is cube. C-U-B-E, cube. Okay, so the first person on Antonius Bale to a to tell me that word gets 50,000 plus. This is the third time I've had to do this. This is silly. Anyway, so yeah, congrats to him. And yeah, the next one, 50,000 plaque. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my rant. And I hope you've got something to add to it. I want to hear your points of view. Subscribe. If you subscribe, then you'll actually find out about the video before I announce it in EverQuest. So you'll actually have a heads up. So you might even be able to claim the money before I actually announce it. So that's one reason why you should subscribe. Thanks again for watching. And until the next time, bye-bye.